Good afternoon. Um, it's my pleasure to uh, present uh, or to introduce uh, M-Labs today. You're probably wondering why a, a Lions Company CEO from Greymouth is up here in front of you um, introducing M-Labs and something called EPAS. And, and the answer to that is in some ways linked to uh, what we're here for today and this whole topic of innovation. Around 10 years ago, Westpower innovated its business model uh, by um, establishing an electrical engineering consultancy, uh, Mitten Electronet, based in Christchurch. And some of you in the audience here will have used the Mitten Electronet services or will know of them. And being a lines business on the west coast of the South Island um, requires um, a number of things, a good set of dielectric gumboots for a start, but, um, but also it, needs, it, it requires some innovative thinking. And I think uh, by necessity, we've become pretty good at applying innovation within the business. So we promoted innovation. Uh, with Mitten Electronet, and that's resulted in, in them establishing an innovation hub within their business. Uh, and that hub is led by Brad Rooney, uh, who is our business development manager. Um, he is going to talk to you uh, now about EPAS and provide some details of just where their innovation has gone. Thanks, Rob. We created M Labs to make safe electricity accessible to the world. And the first in initiative we have to do that is Electrical Protection as a Service, or EPAS. We all know about it when the power goes out. Well, generally, these outages are caused by a fault on the network, something like a tree falling on the line or a car hitting a pole. Network companies have protection schemes in place to clear these faults as fast as possible for the safety of people and their plant. The fastest and safest protection schemes rely on bespoke communications. Things like dedicated microwave links, pilot wires, or like these guys are installing, fibres. These bespoke comm systems are incredibly expensive to install and maintain. So much so that sometimes in New Zealand we s install slower schemes in their place, and this is often the case in the developing world. Our customers tell us that they spend in the order of hundreds of thousands of dollars for the communications to protect a single electrical circuit. EPAS removes the need for this bespoke communications. Instead, we'll use commercially available comm systems, something like a wide area network, or a private cellular network, and combined with mach cloud-based machine learning and a subscription service model, it will give us the option to eliminate comms capex entirely. It's money the industry tells us they'd rather spend on improving their network reliability, demand management, or enabling the uptake of EVs. So how does it work? The first use case is differential protection. Diff protection essentially monitors the current going in one end and out the other. But of course that relies on communications between the relays at this end and this end. We need to match up and make sure the current's the same. EPAS connects those relays straight to those commercial comm systems. It streams synchrophaser data to the cloud where real-time decisions are, are made by our customised neural network. If it detects an electrical fault, it sends a trip signal back to that relay, and system security is maintained with two out of two tripping logic. Normal backup is still there with simplified local protection elements. And there's a huge range of other technical benefits, but I won't bore the whole room with those. If you're an engineer, come and have a chat to me about them afterwards. Prototyping, we're ready to prototype with Westpower, and we have commercial negotiations going on with three lines companies for pilot programs. While I can't yet name them, representatives from all of those companies are here today. We're incredibly excited to be working with these companies representing over 30% of New Zealand's electricity consumption. The opportunity for EPAS only now exists due to the convergence of machine learning, real-time cloud technology, it's only now ready for mission critical services, Synchrophaser data and comms networks. There's now diversity in the types of fast, secure, and reliable commercial comms systems. 
We see this emerging technology coming into our industry and we're seeking to change our business to operate in that new world. We're investing heavily, an example of which is that we've sent some of our best engineers back to university to learn about machine learning and AI. They're now bridging the electricity industry and tech worlds. We understand this technology and with our industry expertise we understand exactly how it can be applied. The spend in New Zealand on bespoke comms is huge. It's in the order of tens of millions of dollars per year. Now is the time to take a different approach. After proving the technology in New Zealand, we'll be looking to launch internationally. The potential market is every city worldwide, but the real benefits come in those emerging markets. It's an area where they yet to install bespoke comms in a lot of instances. So we can make safe electricity more accessible by skipping that step entirely. It's a market cap in the hundreds of millions, and M Labs has the team to take it there. Ed Jones is the protection genius behind the EPAS algorithm. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here today, though. It's for good reason. He's in London at an AI conference, getting ready to take us to the next level. And I am the commercial architect, shaping the business and providing a link to the industry. As Rob said, M Labs is the innovation hub of Mitten Electronet. This gives us access to over 50 of New Zealand's most talented engineers. We've got access to network expertise at Westpower and soon to be with those pilot partners. And we're working with one of New Zealand's largest communications and cloud service providers. In the near future, we may be looking for a channel partner to take that international step. EPAS is our first tangible use case into machine learning, big data, and AI. The data it will create comes at incredible resolution. Once that data is available, the opportunities are endless. And we're already working with one of our pilot partners to create the next algorithm. If you'd like to understand how you can spend less on your comms, come and see me afterwards. EPAS, making safe electricity accessible to the world. <laughs>